So, you want a 3D camera track infusion? No problem, just add the camera tracker node and oh. Plan B, we'll camera track our scene in Blender and then import that into Fusion. So first, camera track your scene in Blender. Now this is not a camera tracking tutorial. There are about a hundred videos out there that can explain how to do this better than I can. So I'm just gonna link the ones I follow down in the description. You wanna make sure you get as good a track as possible. Any slipping is gonna show up in Fusion and can really throw off the whole thing. All right, so once you have your scene tracked, select everything you want, go to File, Export, Export Alembic. Now you don't need to change any of these settings except click only selected objects. Now you can give it a name and a location and then hit export. All right, so I brought my footage into Fusion. So to bring in the camera, I'm gonna go to Fusion, Import, Alembic Scene. Then I'm gonna find the file we just made. Make sure the frame rate matches and then hit OK. All right, so it now brought in a bunch of nodes so we can bring that to the viewer. Turn on lighting and zoom out a little bit. So it brought in our plane, our cube, and our camera from Blender. So I'm gonna bring this to the second viewer. Right click here and go to camera. So now if we press play, we can see it has the motion from our camera. So I'm gonna unplug my cube and ground from this. Now I can take the media in one and drag it into this camera. So now we can see our footage behind the thing. So first thing you might notice is that on the first frame, our background starts moving, but our camera doesn't. That's because Blender's timeline starts at frame one, while Resolve starts at zero. So to fix that, we can select our media in, go to the keyframes, Press this to fill it. Make sure you have show only selected tools selected. And now I'm just gonna bring this forward one frame. So now it starts moving at the right time. So that looks better, but if you look at the ground plane, you'll notice it's kind of slipping a little bit. So why is this? We had a good track in Blender. Why is it off in Resolve? So I'm not sure why this is, but when you import the camera from Blender, the focal length is too small. Not sure why this is, but fortunately we can fix it. So if I try to change any of the settings, nothing's happening. That's because this camera is locked. So we can click on this little icon here to unlock it. Now we can change any of the settings. So we're gonna use some math to fix this. Now don't worry, we're gonna make Fusion do all the math with an expression. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the focal length we have, add a plus, then in parentheses, paste our focal length, then times 0 0.24, and then close the parentheses. So now if I play that, it looks a lot more accurate. Huge thanks to William So for that number. Really sorry if I butchered your name. He has a really in-depth video about this topic. I'll link it below if you wanna check it out. Now this really opens the door to so many cool things you can do. You can add 3D characters or text to your scene, or you can combine it with my portal tutorial to get this really cool result. And if you wanna watch that tutorial, it's right here.